welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Dreamer Designs unboxing times three. <laughs> so I'm actually doing this unboxing a little bit differently. Since I have three uh, kits to go through, I decided to pull them out of the boxes. I have the drills out, I pulled the ABs. I kind of took a quick look to see where the AB drills go so I could just breeze through these. So before I do that, I do want to show you how a Dreamer Designs kit comes. If you've never seen an unboxing before, um, I have quite a few on my channel. There are a bunch of people who have recently unboxed these new Curtis Reykjavik pieces. So I'll just show you how it comes and then we'll go from there. So every Dreamer Designs comes in this little, I don't know what kind of fabric this is, but it comes in a little dust bag and all of their canvases come rolled around a foam roller, which if I could say anything to Dreamer Designs, it would be please stop with the foam roller. Um, I'm not a fan personally. Um, you can see these kits still aren't laying flat. I did roll these backwards and I just, I, I don't like the foam roller. I'm not a fan. Uh, rolled up in your kit, you do get some instructions. You also get um, a sticker sheet, which I'll show you what I do with that in one second. And then we also have a Dreamer Designs toolkit. Now, in my opinion, Dreamer Designs has one of the more luxury toolkits, if you will. I save and reuse these bags. They're just so soft. Um, I'll show this one. I'm not going to show the other two because they're the exact same. So in a Dreamer Designs toolkit, you get two pens and a pair of branded tweezers. Um, you get a regular brass tip and then one of these plastic tips. We have a bag of baggies. What else do we have here? We have two trays, which are branded Dreamer Designs on the back. We have two little caddies of wax and two purple squishies. And I think we have some tips in here. So we have some of the thicker tips. It looks like a three placer, a six placer, and a large straightener. And you also get, like I said before, a strip of stickers. So this actually comes rolled up in the kit. What I do is I take out the drills and I just kind of wrap the sticker sheet around and that helps it flatten out. So when I'm ready to kit this up, I can just pull the sheet out and it's completely flat and ready to work with. So this first kit here, um, all of these are from Curtis Reykjavik. Um, this first one here is Daydreamer. This is a 60 by 80. They all are, um, all of the Curtis pieces from Dreamer Designs, excluding two, I believe are 60 by 80 and they definitely need to be 60 by 80. Um, I wish they would release the other two. I think one of them is Red Riding Hood and the other is Symphony maybe. I wish that they would re-release those in 60 by 80 because they're just too small <laughs> as charted. But anyway, this one is Daydreamer. Um, there are 68 colors and one, two, five of those are ABs. Uh, so I did pull the ABs out. We have some white AB, kind of like a cornflower blue, really bright lime green, beautiful turquoise aqua color, and then a soft yellow. Uh, as for our color palette, we have two bags of drills and lots of greens and blues. We have some pinks and purples really pretty colors. Now, the one thing I will say, when I initially took this out of the box, I was like, ooh, she vibrant. <laughs> uh, Dreamer Designs is kind of known for being, their canvases being a little oversaturated. That doesn't bother me personally, but I do know that there are people that that hurts their eyes. Um, I don't think this will be a problem. I took a look at all the symbols and nothing stuck out to me as being hard to read. Um, and these are square drills. All three of these, I believe, are squares. So even though this image may look a little more saturated, that doesn't mean that the drill colors are going to look like that in the final result. So just keep that in mind. 
Um, obviously, if it hurts your eyes to do the diamond painting, I can understand why that would be disappointing. But if you feel like the colors are off, you just kind of have to trust the process and lay the drills down first. Um, fun fact, I absolutely love orca whales, which are actually dolphins. <laughs> um, and don't call them killer whales, okay? They're orcas. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love orcas. I don't know. I'm actually terrified of the ocean, but I love so many ocean animals. It's weird, but whatever. Okay, let's take a look at where these ABs go. So I actually wrote myself a little note where some of them went so I didn't have to get down and <laughs> look. We're actually in the middle of a heat wave. It's like 1030 and it's already 85 degrees out and I had to turn off my ceiling fan because it was throwing some crazy reflections into the the plastic cover so I'm roasting so I was like what can I do to make this go by as fast as possible so I kind of looked for the ABs myself before I started filming so the first AB is the white and it looks like, from what I could see, obviously I probably missed some, but the white in these two orcas, not the one down here, but these two, there is quite a bit of that white AB. There's also um, a few in her eyes. So her eyes, uh, some highlighting her lips. I always do this when it like on camera, it's like point over here. There's some um, highlighting her lips. And there's also some highlighting her fingers and the top of her chest. As for the light blue, which is the next AB, uh, it looks like those were in her eyes and in the orca's eyes. Just again, the top two. Uh, this little guy was kind of left out. I didn't see too many, if any, uh, ABs in him. Uh, 66 is the really bright chartreuse kind of green and the only place I saw that was in her eyes. Uh, this is my favorite AB in the kit. This is a gorgeous color. Um, I found this one, a lot of it is in her braid which I just think is gorgeous. For some reason I've done a couple of pieces with Curtis's braids and they're just stunning. I don't know how he does it, but it's just beautiful. So I found quite a few in her braid over here and also throughout the water. And then this light yellow is the final AB and I found that only in her nails. Her nails are crazy, um, but I think that they're super cool. So that's where I found just that little amount of AB. Now this kit I think would be really fun to jazz up some more. I love adding ABs and special drills to the water um, on any kit that I work on. And I think it could be fun to do some do something with her scales. I don't really know how it would read since they're underwater, but I think it'd be fun to add in some crystals or something. I would have to take a closer look and see what I could find. Uh, as soon as this kit came out, I was like, do I love this or do I hate this? <laughs> and I, I, I love it. I think she's so cool. Um, and I thought maybe she would be a good piece for next year's uh, Mermaids and Magic, which is being hosted again by uh, Crafting with Shay and You Can Call Me Butter. So maybe she'll make an appearance uh, next March, I believe, is when they hold that event. Um, but I think, yeah, it'd be really fun to do something special with her in the way of special drills. All right, so that is Daydreamer. She's so cool. She's so different, but so cool. Pop her off to the side here. Okay, next is Moon and Star. And I've been waiting for these two to come out because, oh, they're so cute. Um, again, this is a 60 by 80 centimeter square drill. There are 59 colors and four, I believe, are ABs. Aren't they just so cute? <laughs> I love this one. Um, so again, I have my sticker sheet in my drills. Here is the color palette, lots of purples and some blues. And then for our ABs, we have a white, two purples and one blue. 
I'm a little disappointed in the EDs for this one. Um, you'll see when I start to tell you where they are, but I feel like our girl on the left here is a little left out in the AB department, so I may have to take care of that when I work on this one. Um, there was one thing that I wanted to mention as I was looking around this kit to find out where the ABs went. There's a certain symbol, um, and it's symbol B. Let me see if I can find it on my um, thing here. I may have to pull the, yeah, it's all the way at the bottom. So it's this symbol. It's actually an AB symbol. So it's a dark, like it's a black letter B on a really dark purple. And I did find that one a little hard to read. Um, so you may need a light pad or just a, a well-lit area when you're diamond painting. Uh, but that was the only symbol that I was like, eh, that's a little, eh. <laughs> that's a little iffy. Okay, so for our ABs, the first one is the ever classic white AB. I actually really like Drew Beer Designs ABs. I know some people don't. Um, they feel like there's not enough coating, but like, look at that. If you're unfamiliar with an AB, uh, what, what AB means, I should say, it's just a special coating that you can put on a regular color drill and it just gives off a really pretty finish. And when it's down on the canvas, it makes everything sparkle a little bit more. So our first one is white. Um, there was only one bag. Yeah, there's only one bag of white in this kit. And I found that throughout the top of both of their hair, uh, not necessarily like all the way down, but I did see it kind of towards the top. Um, and I also saw it on both of their necklaces. So her necklace and her necklace, and then kind of highlighting some spots on both of their bags. Uh, the next AB is this darker purple. I love the purple ABs. I just think they're so pretty. Um, so I found that on, so this one is star. This one's moon, this one's star. Um, obviously they have the moon and the star. <laughs> um, I found that darker purple, it looks like through some of her purse and also through her hair. The next AB is this lighter purple. And I found that also in her hair. Why am I pointing over here? I always do that. Uh, <laughs> throughout her hair here, and then also on her purse. And then our final AB is this really beautiful like cornflower blue. And this is the only AB other than the white that goes on Moon. So it's throughout her hair and also in her purse. That's kind of what I meant earlier when I said I felt like Moon got a little gypped in the AB department because Star has two purples and white and Moon only has white and blue. So I may have to see what I can do about that. I may bling her up a little bit more. And uh, actually, let me see something here. I'm getting a little sneak at the next, next kit. So it looks like some of the stars have an AB. So symbol one is that lighter purple. So you can see that there are a few in there, but I think I would go through all of the stars and I would make them ABs. So over here on moon side, you can see some of them are threes, which is that light blue AB but I would just go for all of them. I would make all of them an AB because even over here, like the little speckles, none of those are AB colors. So that's just something that I like to do in general with um, moons and stars and whatever. I like adding that extra sparkle. So that's definitely a change that I will make. All right, our final kit is one that this one, She's so beautiful. I, I adore <laughs> this image. This is Blanca. She is just so beautiful. I remember when one of the earlier Curtis kits came out, I was in love with that kit. Maybe it was Hazel. No, Salem. I think it was Salem. And I thought that that was my favorite of his pieces. But then I saw this one 
and I was like, this needs to come out as a diamond painting, please. Um, so it came out a couple of weeks ago. I've had these packages for a little while. Um, but yes, she is absolutely gorgeous. So again, this is Blanca. She's another 60 by 80 square girls again. Uh, there are 51 colors, I think, and four ABs. Um, here is her color palette. It's kind of dark and moody, as you would expect. I, this is my kind of color palette, though. I love like the grays and white and black with just hints of all these other really pretty colors. Like you do have some pops of color. You have this bright blue, like a magenta pink, this cool purpley color. So there is definitely color in it, but it's definitely like um, a little gray scale, if you will. So we have four ABs, two bags of white. We have a darker pink, a lighter pink, and that same kind of cornflower blue. All right. So the first AB is the white, which is symbol O, and that is sprinkled and kind of like streaked all throughout her hair. Her hair is fabulous. I love her hair. <laughs> um, so lots of this white AB, obviously they gave us two bags. There's also some in her little pumpkin purse, which is just so cute. Um, the second AB is 49 which is symbol Z on the canvas, and it's this darker pink. And I actually found this in her eyes, which I thought was pretty cool. She does, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but she does kind of have like a reddish pinky tone to her irises, so that's pretty cool. The next AB is this blue color, and I also found this in her eyes, which I thought was interesting. And then the final AB is this light pink. And I found some of this highlighting her nose. So I've worked on a couple of Curtis kits at this point, and it seems like Dreamer Designs likes to chart a lot of ABs in the faces. So I was expecting to see this color a lot in her face, but I actually only found it like highlighting her nose, which I think is actually will be really pretty. I think it'll bring some really beautiful shine to that area. And I also found some on her arms, just sprinkled throughout there. So that is my most recent Dreamer Designs purchase. Let me know if you loved the Curtis Reykjavik damsels as much as the rest of us. There's quite a few of us over on Instagram that like to tag each other when uh, Dreamer Designs announces new <laughs> new Curtis releases, which I feel like they've caught on that people love his work because they've been releasing so many. They had a week where they released four, uh, which is when I got, I think these two, I think Moon and Star and uh, Daydreamer came out the same week. And then the following week they released Blanca and another kit. And then this past week they released a couple, like they're just on a roll. Um, there's one, I think she's called Peppermint. I don't know if she's actually called that, but she has like peppermints around her. She's really cute. Um, she's on my wish list. I haven't bought any more. I was like, you have three coming, that's enough. <laughs> but I definitely need to work one of these two into my schedule later this year. I think uh, Blanca would work for the Festival of Witches and actually, Moon and Star would probably work for the Festival of Witches as well. So you'll probably see one of these make another appearance on my channel sooner rather than later. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know if you liked this style of unboxing, like kind of having everything out and ready to go. And then uh, knowing ahead of time where the ABs are so you don't have to listen to me go, I can't find it. I can't find it. I'm kind of infamous for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.